so in this lecture we are going to learn about another recursion problem and that is to find the sum of first n natural numbers okay you have to find the sum of first n natural numbers so it will be something like if n is equal to 5 so it will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 this is very easy if you apply a for loop okay so then we can just write that okay for int i is equal to 1 i is less than equal to n i plus plus and we have int s is equal to 0 so now s is equal to s plus i okay this will do for us but we are asked to do this using recursion okay so recursion means that we so basic recursion means we are calling a function the same function from the function itself okay so let us have a function f u n which takes no argument and then inside that also if we call function then this is recursion because from the function itself we are calling the same function okay and recursion has so two properties first calling same function okay so same function from itself so this is the first property and then for it to be consistent so there should be a base case okay so where the recursion should stop so base case should also be there okay so these two things should be there to have a recursion and this is necessary so that the recursion is not infinite okay so let's see so what does this mean so how will you find sum of first n natural numbers using recursion okay so in mathematics which you are more comfortable with initially so you know that okay if I can write that Sn, let Sn be the sum of first n natural numbers or the sum of numbers from 1 to n, okay. So, S of n can be written as S of n minus 1 plus n. So, for example, S of 1 is 1, S of 2 will be S of 1 plus 2 which is 3 s of 3 will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 but it can be written as s of 2 plus n so which is 3 so this is s2 is 3 plus 3 6 s of 4 is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 but it can be written as s of 3 plus 4 which is 6 plus 4 10 and this is 4 plus 3 7 plus 2 9 plus 1 10 okay so this is a recursive formula because the function is the same but only the argument in that is different so here it is n and here it is n minus 1 and we make a relation between sn and sn minus 1 or some function with some other argument so the same function with some other argument and some other expressions so this is a recursive formula in maths but how to write the same thing in computer science programming okay so what happens as we discuss so recursion has a base case so base case is the most trivial case of the problem so s of 1 the first n natural numbers where n is 1 so that is 
s of 1 is 1 so this is the base case so i write that okay if n is 1 then i should stop and i should return 1 which i can compute directly otherwise return what i do i return sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers and to make sn i add n to it okay so this is the thing and how we evaluate so now let's try to understand how we track how recursive functions are called so what we do here is let us put some line numbers so this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five okay so now what happens first time i will call let's say i'm calling i want the sum till five okay so i will call sum one two n and five okay so this function let's represent as s n okay sum one to n as s n then what will happen so i have something like so i have initially i will call so what we do is when function is called we put it on stack okay so we push when function is called push on stack so function is called then we put it on the stack okay and pop from the stack when function returns okay so now what happens first time it is s of sn 5 is called now here it means what n is equal to 5 and we also say that okay sn 5 is called now it checks n is 5 is it equal to 1 so n is not equal to 1 it comes to the else part return sum 1 to n and n minus 1 is 4 and plus this is 5 so what it returns it is now running the fourth line so i will write that okay now what happens is in sn5 i come have come to the fourth line and i'm executing that so now what happens and now it calls sn4 and plus there is n so which is 5 okay and here also this is at the so now what happens sn4 again n is not 1 so it comes to fourth line in the else part and returns sum 1 to n and n minus 1 is 3 now so sn of 3 because now sn3 is called so it is pushed onto the stack okay and plus n which is 4 okay and this line also it was fourth line which we executed so when i'm calling sn i'm in sn4 so i'm calling sn3 so it means if i'm calling some function from another function so it will be pushed on the stack okay for that function so now sn3 again so what happens for sn3 it in turns call sn2 plus 3 is here and again these are fourth line number so sn2 in turns calls sn1 and now sn1 what will happen sn2 is sn1 plus 2 so now sn1 and it is also in the fourth line sn1 goes there now n is 1 so it returns 1 so now let's see now it is backtracking so we call sn1 sn1 now returns and so what is the value that it returns 1 so 1 is returned and then when you return so we pop that function out okay so sn1 is popped and 1 plus 2 is becoming 3 so this function now sn2 basically returns a 3 okay so sn2 is now 3 and what happens sn2 was called from sn3 so sn3 now becomes sn2 plus 3 which is 6 and then when sn2 is done so it returns so we pop that thing out so 
SN3 is now 6. So SN3 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. So what happens? 6 plus 4 is 10. And so SN4 becomes 10. And then what happens? 10 plus 5 is 15. So SN4. So it is basically 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. So 9, 12, 14, 15. So what happens? SN4 is now 10 and plus 5. So it becomes SN5. And now SN4. So it returns and SN5 now becomes 15. Okay. So SN5 is 15 and then it returns. So this function is also ends. And we see that the answer is 15. Okay. So this is the way we should evaluate. So when a function is called, the first function is pushed onto the stack. So it was SN5. So SN5 in turn calls SN4. So we pushed it onto the stack. And then we also said that, okay, line number was 4 where it had left and called SN3. Okay this way we are pushing now when we are calling the function and when the function returns like sn to sn of 1 so sn1 was calculated then it returned so it was popped out sn2 now became sn1 plus 2 so this returns then popped out then sn3 is calculated it pops out sn4 is calculated now it returns sn5 is calculated and it's popped out okay so this was about using recursion to find sum of numbers from 1 to n so i hope you understand this and if you understand and like this video please share it among your friends and add this among your favorites thanks a lot